Hey guys, welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, and today, when it comes to macOS, I'll be happy to let you know that we finally have the missing beta 6 that we had been waiting for for some time in fact this update comes almost three weeks since the release of beta 5 you can see that beta 5 came out on the 11th of august and today is the 30th but as you can see here we have mac os monterey 12 beta 6 and for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp that you are seeing here you can see that the update size came in at exactly 2.20 gigs and i was updating from mac os monterey 12 beta 5 that's my update size and since i've already updated my mac that you are seeing here let's quickly go ahead and see how late this update is so this is the apple developer website and you can see some of the other downloads and on mac os you can see that we are now on beta 6 and and this is just today on august the 30th but for other updates you can see that they have almost a week in beta 7 so sometime this week we might see a uh, beta 8 of ios as well as ipad os tv os and watch os 8 so beta 8 for this update is expected this week but meanwhile for mac os we just got beta 6 this week which means this update is two betas behind the schedule that others are following anyways let's go ahead and see the software changes that came with this update if we go to the about this mark section and go to the overview you can see a negative step has been taken when it comes to the build number so the build number that we have here is 21A5506J if you recall correctly the build number that we had on mark os 12 beta 5 ended with a G so we went from a G to a J which is a negative of three steps that's not something that's good perhaps it's one of the reasons why this update has been delayed for some time for about two weeks maybe there was a bug that apple was working on but you can see the build number that we have here and then if we go to see the storage being taken up by this update and go to manage and go to where it says uh, mac os you can see here that it's taking 16.6 .6 gigs so that is the storage being taken up by this update now in terms of new features and changes that came with mac os 12 beta 6 the first one when you open up system preferences and search for universal control you can see that you be able to actually find a universal control however when you click here it does not take you to any place it's just mentioned in the os and you can see that you can sort of see it here on the forefront however you can see that when you click there it doesn't do anything and when you go to the display section here you can see that you don't see anything that has to do with universal control or anything like that and also when it comes to display there's something that i wanted to show you here that has to do with the wallpaper that you are seeing so if you are not connected to like a secondary monitor or anything like that and you open up your display section this is what you're going to see you're going to see uh, a mac os pixel wallpaper and this is kind of unfortunate because some other os's have began removing like ios 14 wallpapers as well as ipad os 14 wallpapers and replacing them with ios 15 wallpapers which is current but for mac os for some reason if you don't have an external monitor you see you still see this big cell wallpaper which is kind of unfortunate when you open up maps for the first time you will see a new splash screen it opened up on my secondary monitor but this is how maps opened up for me and you can see what's new in maps updated style all new place cards and improved search i got some updates in the app store here that i noticed i don't know if this is because of me updating but immediately after updating to big Sur beta uh, mac os 12 monterey beta 6 i noticed that these updates were there and yeah let me just go ahead and update them and so basically those are the new features and changes that came with mac os 12 monterey beta 6 you can see the release notes that we have here that there isn't a lot that has changed we do have quite a number of resolved issues though and i'm just gonna highlight some of those and the first one has to do with siri so when you access your siri for the first time here you can actually switch focus modes to any other focus other than do not disturb using 
using Siri, which is something that wasn't available or working properly before. So that is working. And then also when you open maps, this was an issue for some time where this Bay Bridge in California would actually scale incorrectly. But as you can see here, the scale doesn't change at zoom levels, which is something that's good and has been fixed with this update. It's a resolved issue. And also using Siri, there's a lot of things that you can do using Siri actually. So if you use Siri, you can uh, play lossless audio or special audio tracks via Siri, which is something that has been resolved and animations. Okay. As expected when bringing up tabs in Safari. So you can see the tabs that I have here. And some people were saying that when it comes to the preferences of Safari and then going to the tabs, you can see how mine is working correctly and it shows uh, like it's supposed to for some people they were saying that these uh, icons that you see in the mirror just behind the wallpaper of macOS Monterey were misaligned or missing some of the buttons but as you can see mine is aligned and my tabs are working as they are supposed to and so that's something that has also been resolved for some people with this update now unfortunately with this with each beta update there are some issues and the first one has to do with reminders where some reminders might actually not be able to show correctly or organize and also you can see that the first time you open up reminders for your uh, Mac after updating you will see this new splash screen but you can see that my reminders is working and so for there is a bug where reminders might not show or actually work as they are supposed to and also if you have some legacy contacts that you have set up with your Apple ID legacy contacts has been removed and will return in a future updates and when it comes to language and region if you select some certain languages although those have not been listed which ones are affected you might actually see unlocalized text or misaligned text so for example when you go to like where you see general you might see it misaligned or out of its border that is a non issue that is there with this update and also uh, the last thing that has been mentioned as an issue has to do with Apple TV app where video that are played in the full screen mode might actually not play correctly or you might actually not be able to escape which is something that you can always troubleshoot if you use the Apple TV app now other than that those are the new features not many and also some of the resolved issues as well as the bugs that are currently there with Mac OS 12 Monterey beta 6 since we have Mac OS 12 beta 6 finally which took us almost three weeks to get let's hope that beta 7 won't take as long and if it goes back on track that means that sometime between the 7th of September to the 9th of September we'll be able to see a beta 7 and that will put us back on track with weekly updates when it comes to macOS uh, Monterey updates now other than that like this video drop a like and stay safe and I'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace